Last April, the rapper Logic came out with the song 1-800-273-8255, which is the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. He performed the song at the VMAs in September, which is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. Since then, calls to the lifeline have increased by 50%. One of Seaman High School's very own teachers has recently suffered a loss from suicide. I guess it, it, it kind of started um, one Thursday evening. We were uh, going to go up to see my brother the, that weekend for the 4th of July this past summer. And uh, that night I was out with some friends and I got a call from him and just said, hey, um, you know, you may not come up this weekend. He was really frustrated. Uh, he and his fiance had kind of gotten into an argument about work. And shortly after, I got a phone call from his fiance who said, hey, uh, you know, I don't know what your brother's told you, but uh, we had a big argument, uh, kind of boiled down to really finances is what it, it happened. And um, didn't surprise me a lot because my brother always, he's really, really good with people, but really, really bad with money. And, and so I didn't, you know, kind of something that, that wasn't just, a big shocker to me and so um, she kind of told me the story and so they they agreed or he I guess left that evening to go um, stay over they had a neighbor's house that was empty so that he was gonna go sleep with the neighbors and they were just while well, they were trying to work things out and so I called my brother back and I was gonna instead of going up there that weekend then he was gonna come up to Topeka and hang out with us and and it just you know at the time it didn't seem like a lot, you know, I was a little bit worried and kind of as the evening got on, I started to kind of worry about my brother. I'd text him, hey, everything okay? You know, just seeing how you're doing. And it was, oh, I'm doing fine. You know, I'll let you know in the morning how things are going. And by the next morning, I hadn't heard from him, anything from him. And so um, about nine o'clock that next morning, his fiance had called me and said, hey, have you heard anything from your brother? I said, I haven't heard anything. She said, oh, maybe he just went out to see some friends and, you know, he left. and. I uh, was just trying to, to get away for a little bit and so about 11 o'clock I asked her if she'd go check on him and because I couldn't get a hold of him and um, she did and he had, she had found him, he had hung himself and, um, and it was really a, a, just a shock. I mean nobody realized what was going on and how bad things were going but uh, it kind of came out through the whole situation that uh, it wasn't just the finances that they were arguing about in his work um, but that he he had a surgery uh, maybe a year or two before that uh, for a hernia that he had suffered while he was at work and um, through the whole process he got addicted to pain pills and and so that part of that came out too that that was part of the reason things that were going on as far as why they were arguing and and uh, just nobody knew it she didn't know it going into this um, you know and none of us none of his siblings knew it either and so it's just just an absolute devastating thing to find out on on that Friday then that Friday morning so um, we had went up there then that afternoon my wife and I went out to to their house to try to get things taken care of at the lake uh, he lived at the lake of the Ozarks and and so we were working there and he had you know, he had a one-year-old daughter who had, she had just turned one a uh, month before that and um, you know I, I look back at it and feel like there were a lot of things that, that maybe I missed you know, maybe it was, I could have done this better. And um, for a long time, uh, for, for a while, for, for a, you know, a few days, a week or so, I, I put a lot of blame on myself as far as should I, should I what if I went up that night, you know, and I talked to him instead of waiting till the next day. Um, is there somebody I could have called? Is there somebody I could have done this and, and gotten him help? But uh, it, was, it was just something that was so unexpected and such a shock that, that I don't think he, he realized, you know, the toll that it was going to take on everybody. But for my brother, it was he didn't see a way out of of the situation. He he was in an argument with his fiance and didn't know that. I don't think he realized that there that he could get help and he could get over his addiction to the pain pills and that that you know finances are something people fight about, but they can work those out. And you know, he had a good job. He had a nice, a great family. He lived in a, a nice area and. It was just, just so much going on for him, but um, just so much that people didn't realize as well. I just want to dedicate this song to John Ruta and his family and friends, and uh, just say I'm going to miss that guy. I really am. Um, he was a hell of a guy, and 
so fun to hang out with and be around. And I worked with him for quite a few years. Been on some trips with him. Went to Washington D.C. a few times with him and hang out with the with the Jersey Boys. And we had some awesome times, you know. And that's stuff I'll never forget. And uh, just what a great person he was. And just want to remember the good times we had. So, without further ado, this is dedicated to him and his family and friends. So, hope you guys enjoy and pray for his family, would you? There's just days, uh, you know, the little things that just remind you of people, of your brother, of there's a song you hear on the radio and, and it makes you think of him and just just wish you could call him or send him a message and just that's that's what I miss the most is just being able to just say, you know, just say, hey, what's going on? When someone close to you experiences a loss, it is important that you reach out and talk with them during this time. If you don't feel comfortable talking with them, recommend that they go and talk with a counselor. A lot of us just don't know what to say or what to do, so we just don't do anything or say anything. And that's not necessarily good either. Um, that makes the person feel even more isolated and it's hurtful to not understand or to not affirm that you understand that something's happened. I think one thing also that kind of got me, I was taking classes, right? I still am taking classes to become a school counselor. and. We had that next week, uh, our unit was over depression and taking it uh, an inventory or an assessment to kind of measure depression. And as I went through, and then it may be, you know, like hindsight 2020, but you, you look at that, and my brother definitely would have fit into that, into that scale, but there was, there was never any help given. One of these signs would be some anxiety. Another one could be hopelessness. They're just at this point where they just feel hopeless about everything and everyone, it's kind of like the Eeyore syndrome. They're just sad and there's no reason for it and it's, it's uncommon. Another one is feeling withdrawn or isolating themselves. Another sign would be sleeping. A lot of times people who are depressed and are thinking about suicide, a lot of times they start sleeping a whole lot or they sleep very little, which then increases the anxiety. Another one, increased alcohol use or drug use. You know, it's, it's really hard on our family now. Um, just when we get together, it is, it, there's just something missing. Uh, last month, we got together for our nephew's first birthday, and, you know, my, I have two older sisters, and we were all there, and, but there was just still that piece missing. And um, this year is going to be really difficult just because of the first, right? And we don't, I don't know what it'll be like at holidays and um, getting together for Christmas and things like that and just reach out and get help is, is probably my biggest thing. Mr. Ruto wants to help bring awareness to suicide after what happened with his brother. Things such as Logic Song 1-800-273-8255 brought suicide back to the forefront of the news. If you or someone you know is having suicidal thoughts, make sure you reach out and get help.